Sat Nam. Nine years ago, I was in a city called Vilnius. It's the capital of Lithuania. Some friends of mine threw a party for me. And I went there in the evening. There were about 20 of them. And I was the guest of honor, the chief guest. So I was pampered. I was introduced to everyone. It was a, I was having a good time. Now, all my friends know I love red wine. So we were about to sit down for dinner. And they opened this bottle of red wine and they gave me the glass. I said, cheers. I said, okay. So I had, and then after 20 minutes, my friend, the host, he saw me and he said, Oh my God, you haven't even touched your wine. Uh, we thought you love red wine. What happened? I said, uh, now, you know, you can't lie about this. You can't get around it by saying, you know, oh, I'm not well or I don't know. So I just said the truth. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't like it. It's too acidic for me. Oh shit. Why didn't you tell me before? He got another bottle. Opened a new bottle of a different wine. And he poured it for me. And I took a sip. I didn't like it. I, look, I looked at him. I said, you know what? Forget it. Uh, it's okay if I don't have wine. Just leave it. He said, no, 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 no. So, cutting a long story short, he opened five bottles for me. It was so embarrassing, I can't even tell you. Because if I don't like it, I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to allow it to go inside my body. So, finally, I said, listen, stop. Get me single malt. So, he said, okay. He got me four bottles of single, single malt. He got me Lafroy 10, Glen Fittich 10, uh, Talisker 10. Now, I don't drink 10. I, I'm sorry, but I pampered myself to not drink something acidic and I want something which is of a very good quality. So I am pampered. So I said, I'm really sorry, but this is not uh, what I like. Uh, I don't like these. Uh, I just made some excuse for that. And I said, no, I'm not having it. So I said, just, just give me some uh, Coca-Cola and that'll be fine. So he gave up and he said, okay. So I had Coca-Cola and then the dinner was served. And now there's this big table, 20 people are sitting there. And then they're serving the food to everyone. It's, it's like a six course meal and all of that. And then suddenly they look at me and they said, why aren't you eating your food? Uh, I said, I think there's a problem with the chicken. I said, what? I said, yeah, I think it, uh, it's a bit off. So now suddenly out of those 20 people, four people said, yeah, even I, and they're eating it and they're saying, yeah, it's something funny about it. And they're eating it. Why am I telling you this? Yesterday, I was in one of India's best branded super malls for food. Okay. And we ordered this sugarcane juice, me and my wife. And as soon as it came, I took a sip of it. And I said, no, it's not good. My wife said, why? It's sugarcane juice. So she took a sip of it. She said, shit, no, 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 it's not good. And what a lot of us do, and I know this for a fact, is that when something comes from a reliable source, like a really nice family in Lithuania or the super mall, we just accept it as going to be probably good, ignore the small problem that there might be and put it in the body. And then after 10 years, we say, shit, how did I get cancer? I don't even smoke. You get these diseases because of the mindlessness with which you put poison in your body. Because something that doesn't smell right, something that doesn't taste right, something that doesn't look right, it's not going to be good for you. And if you don't understand that, you have no right to complain about getting the diseases that you either have or you're going to get. For example, do you know that when your food gets burnt and you can see it black, so let's say your tandoori food, your barbecued food, your chicken, your, your meat, or even your, your beautiful uh, tandoori roti, when the edges become black or anything that becomes black because it's burnt and charred, it's pure unrefined cancer for you. Some people actually love that taste. They, they like that black, black taste around the chicken and, and they eat that like with a lot of relish. Well, good luck. Our grandfathers were very wise. I always, in, in fact, one of my books is going to be ancient wisdom and one of the things that they prescribed was that when you're sitting on the dining table, you shut up and you eat. You don't talk to each other. You don't look at the TV. You don't read the newspaper. You don't look at a book. You just eat because the mindfulness with which you are eating food is prana. It's your life force. It goes into your body. It nourishes you. It nourishes your brain. It nourishes your soul. It nourishes your aura. It's the most important activity of your whole day of your whole life. And when you are chatting away on the dining table, 
when you are looking at the TV and eating, do you think you're going to get that taste of something which is off? In my own family, it happened a week ago that when I saw, I normally don't have yogurt and then that day I felt like having and when I took it from the spoon, it was a bit runny. It, it, you know, yogurt is supposed to get sliced. When you eat the yogurt, this is very important. When you eat the yogurt, it, it should be like a cake which slices off. It should be hard. When it's runny and it's like this gooey thing, it's really, really bad for you. Now, the other day when I was having the yogurt, I, I, I took it out and I, saw, I said, what is this? My wife said, oh shit, we didn't realize. And you didn't realize. It was there on the table. My daughter was having it. When you eat mindfully, when you think about what goes into your body, I've said it a hundred times, I will say it a million times more. Treat your body like a temple. It's the first most important temple of your life. Respect it. Look at your food, smell it. See if it's smelling perfect. See if it's smelling the way it's supposed to smell. See if it is tasting the way it's supposed to taste and then put it in your body. Satnam.